The term maker to me is, is an artist uh, creating because that's the world I live in. But of course, uh, it's not only applicable to art, but to anything else that is, is made out there, either by an individual or a group of people. Um, so in a sense, we are all makers, whether we know it or not, because of, of, uh, of the way, just simply the way we live our lives, the way we dress, the way we build houses. Uh, we're builders and, and designers and architects and, and uh, uh, anything else. Uh, so maker is, is, is all these things, uh, referring to any kind of technology out there in creating in that, in, in, in that area, because so much of our world deals with technology today. But um, to me, um, I'm a sculptor, I'm a blind sculptor, and I'll always be a maker of pieces that I see in my mind's eye. My name is Michael Naranjo. I was born in Santa Fe and raised on the Santa Clara Pueblo Reservation, 30 miles north of Santa Fe. Uh, my work comes a great deal from my experiences of, of my, my people, the Native uh, Americans, uh, the Indians, and, and their everyday life. And, and not only of the Pueblo Indians, but also of the of the various different kinds of Indians around the country, like the buffalo that I'm working on is very much uh, connected to the plains. And of course, the Pueblo Indians went out into the plains to hunt buffaloes, but the uh, plains Indians were were the real uh, hunters of the buffalo. As for my disability of having only one good hand to work with, these three fingers are actually my eyes. Um, Everything I do is with these three fingers. So um, I live in a world of sound and touch, and and with the, with the touch um, and creating, it takes tens of thousands of touches and and moving wax and clay around to to create a piece. And when you're young, you have this fire inside. Uh, the the amount of, uh, of excitement and energy going into whatever you're wanting to do, learning to do, and, and setting about creating um, is, is so much more different than it is when you get older. If you give children um, a material, they'll just play with it and, and don't really get too far with it quite often. But if, if you give them uh, direction and guidance in creating a piece, then, uh, then it really works. Um, that's a nice thing about young children. They're so excited to create and they still believe I can do anything I want and um, I can make anything I want. And quite often, I, I made an analogy of, of a, it's like a child in, in the womb. Uh, a thought, an idea uh, is, is inside and it lives inside. And, and after a while, um, um, it has to come out. So a child has to be born. Uh, a work of art has to be born. When, when you're able to touch things and look at things, it adds another dimension into appreciating anything. Um, that's why we shake hands, that's why we hug people, um, uh, pet our animals. Uh, we, we, we see how things feel uh, because the feel of um, a bronze compared to stone is so very different. Stone is so much warmer and softer than bronze. And um, 
wood is also very different when you touch it. Um, so if you can touch these things, you, you get a different feel of the material. Um, and I think there's just so much we can learn and get from and appreciate in a whole new different way of, 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 of seeing things if we touch pieces. <laughs>